The increased awareness comes after a Bel Air couple was charged with drugging and sexually assaulting two women. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez is live in West Hollywood with the story for us now. Miriam? What are the chances here on the Sunset Strip? Scores of clubs, thousands of cocktails being poured every night. What is the possibility that someone would want to spike your drink to send you into a stupor? Tonight we talk to club goers about their fears and this latest arrest. Cheers, a night out on the town. Women used to worry about watching their purses. Now they are watching their drinks. Sometimes it's hard to keep your eyes on, on your drink all the time and somebody could just turn around and slip something in there and, you know, it's scary. A splash of GHB, the so-called date rape drug, is the newest hazard on the club scene. It happened in Vegas to this woman's friends. And not really sick to their stomach the next day, really bad out. headaches, they passed out. They're incoherent. Very incoherent. Now this man, 40-year-old Joseph Arsenault, and his companion, 24-year-old Heather Lynn Moe, face 13 counts of sexual assault. They are accused of lacing drinks of two women with GHB. One of the alleged encounters began at the Key Club on Sunset Boulevard. Both ended at this Bel Air mansion. When one woman came to, she found burns on her stomach. Arsenault was featured in the film Orgasmo. He promised women help starting their film careers, telling one his bedroom was a movie set. Arsenault and Mo are retaining O.J. attorney Robert Shapiro for their defense. Prosecutors say for the deceit and damage inflicted, the two could spend 100 years in prison if convicted. What do you think of a guy who would actually do that? Desperate. <laughs> Very desperate. Police seize cocaine, GHB, and videos at the Bel Air home. They say there is evidence that there were other women who were drugged by this couple. Anyone with information is asked to call LAPD detectives at the West Los Angeles station.